and stuff. Hey, we're top nine. What are, who's number one? All right, all right. I think we can get top. I think we can get top five, six. This live. I think we can get top six. Where are you? I'm at with Sega Beach right now. Chilling by the water. It's right near Metamorphos. If anyone wants to come visit, but uh, we're probably leaving soon, so probably can't visit. But I'll visit some of you soon, hopefully. Amy, thank you for the PayPal and saying I'm so happy to see you. Happy. My girl Jessica had a birthday last month. Nice. Happy birthday, Jessica. We got 1.3 in the house. Happy to have you back. I'm happy to be back. So happy to be back. Christine with the Lion. Let's go. Getting us to seven. Christine, thank you so much. We got a seagull right here. Amy with the universe. Jeez. Amy, you're the GOAT. Greatest of all time. Thanks, Amy. Top seven, let's go. Let's see if I can place it right there. Oh, yeah. Nice. The seagull is hilarious. Teresa, mommy, I'm saying, William, I love you and I missed you like crazy. What's the message and stay longer? Kate Palmer, sorry if my TikTok offended you, I deleted it. No worries. No, I no, I'm just joking. I think it was like something like something with like small dick or something. And I was like, You saying I got a small dick? But I was like, I used to be insecure about that. I'm not insecure about it anymore, but I'm not like eight inches, you know, I'm like a good six inches, but still get insecure about that stuff. And all guys want a freaking hog on them, you know what I'm saying? But um no, I'm not like offended, it's fine. Aaron, thank you for the PayPal. I've missed your message though. I got a uh, Instagram message. Hello, hello. But who's measuring? <laughs> That's it, right? Jennifer, you do not have a small dick, XXL. I guess a lot of you know it, eh? because my friggin' the nude leak. Um, thanks, though. It's a grower, right? Eh? It's not a shower, but it's a grower. I'm, I'm happy, I'm happy with it. We can stop talking about my dick right now, just in case we got some youngins in here. Um, top six, let's go! Top six! Are you happy, Will? I'm getting happy. I'm working on being happy. I'm happy. Yeah, I'm happy. Overall, I'm happy. Um, Kelly said, Kelly's in the chat. Everyone say hi to Kelly. Kelly is in the chat. And we are top six. Thank you, guys. <clears throat> I feel like doing a long workout. What up, Kels? Look at all the love you get, Kels. Obviously, but I know you're. You can. Everyone can get a little insecure sometimes. So there's your. There's your love. There's your love. Nancy, thank you for the PayPal thing. I'm glad you're back. I missed you. I'm glad I'm back too. It's cool being near the center. I saw a bunch of my friends that I used to be at the center with, and um, it was a uh, good time seeing them. Good time seeing them. You guys like my last TikTok? I thought it'd blow up. I thought it was a really good one. But yeah. it might still. You seem peaceful. Yeah, I'm pretty peaceful. At the beach, I'm pretty peaceful. Especially being here near the rehab center. I feel very peaceful. And I feel very peaceful talking to them. You look great, William. Wanted to see you. Oh, thank you, Kelly. I'm excited to get modeling going, man. Um, 
I'm really excited. I think you said we got a couple of shoots in Toronto coming up. And then uh, talking about New York, plans on New York. I'll talk to Ivan Bart about it too. Kelly just said, going to New York City, let's go. I don't, I don't know if you said I am or you are, I think me. But either way, let's go. <laughs> we got a lot of gifts going on, thank you guys. As we're moving up there. Oh, you just said you are. All right, so I am going to New York City. It's a thing, it's happening. We're gonna be doing some lives in New York City, guys. Uh, We'll have vibes like this too, you know? I don't know if they have beaches in New York City, but go to the park, go to the parks and stuff. And, uh, well, they obviously don't have beaches in New York City. What am I saying? But, um, <laughs> but yeah, go to the park. It'll be like nice vibes like this after a nice, um, oh, thanks to the PayPal here, 11 11. But yeah, vibes in New York City. I wonder how that's gonna be, guys. You guys excited for that? Are you less nervous? But oh, I'm way less nervous by New York now. I'm ready to just do stuff with my life. You know, I'm not dying anytime soon. I like to think that way, live every day like my life. You never know what can happen. So just have fun. You know, my dream is to be like a star, a model, like do something. So give it a shot have fun with it, and uh, bring you guys with me. That's gonna be awesome. Especially bringing you guys in with me. Kelly's going into a meeting, lots of love. See you, Kelly, love you, man. Have a good meeting. And um, meet some cool people too. We almost got 2K in here, it's nice. Like the vibes for new joiners. William Moyet, I'm a model. I'm aspiring to be an actor one day, maybe like Ryan Reynolds or something, you know? Um, and uh, yeah, I'm at the beach right now, I got the best fan base in the world probably, I'd say so. We're pretty, uh, I went to rehab for a month, gained, they raised $10,000 for me before I got out. It just stuff, it's not even about the money though, it's like, just the love and all look at just coming on without saying anything. I got two thousand people in here, so it's uh it's a lot of people. Sometimes I don't realize like even a hundred people is a lot of people. And um, so like thank you. New York City will love you, thank you, Stacy, Jenny, thank you, Super Pan, and Stephanie, jeez. Guys, thank you, thank you so much. Beverly, we are excited for your journey, whatever it is. I know, eh? Whatever we do, it's going to be nice. Um, the modeling is going to be a good shot. Test it out, see how it goes. Um, I've always wanted to be a model, so I've been working on it. I feel my whole life trying to look good all the time. Um, and it is hard because you got to be strong. Um, and yeah, and now I get to do something with it. So it's like, yeah, let's go. Let's go, let's give it a shot. Are you moving to New York? Yeah, um, I think, guys, September, I'd say. I'd say mid-September. I don't want to, like, change it, but I'll definitely probably be there for Christmas, which is kind of cool. Hopefully come home for Christmas, though. If not, bring the family out to New York. That'd be nice, you know? Bring the family to New York for Christmas. Maybe have a nice meet and greet for Christmas for you guys. How'd you guys like that? Big meet and greet. You guys can see how your boy Will's doing. For sure, Kelly. We gotta catch up, set up a time tomorrow. I'm gonna get back to my dad's tomorrow.
Yeah, it'd be awesome. I'd, I'd love to meet some new fans too. Um, obviously the same ones too. Love you guys. We've had some good times. You know, Kelsey's was fun. Me and all you guys, when I saw a bunch of Kelsey's, that was awesome. We were drinking, having some shots, having some fun. Um, yeah. See, Ivan, yeah, I saw Ivan. My brother, I mean, my like my friend, yeah. So, Ivan, or do you mean like Ivan Bart? I'm gonna see Ivan Bart in person for the first time, that'll be nice. Carol, thank you so much, it'll be so spectacular. We love you, thank you for the PayPal, thank you, thank you, or the donation, should I say? Sounds better. I haven't seen Drew. Um, we got in a little, little fight uh, before I came into rehab. Just stupid stuff, uh, just like whatever. But I would, uh, I would like to talk to him because he's my boy. He's probably my brother forever. Um, deep down, he loves me, and I love him. So um, I'm sure we'll talk soon. Uh, you know, you know, when you know when you have friends that just you always feel like you'll be in your life, so you don't really have to contact them. Um, but. It would be nice to uh, get a hold of them. It looks like my phone's gonna die though. If it dies, guys. Um, let me check. We're at 20%, we're good. I love these talks, it makes them. You guys like these talks? We can go wild, we can have nice talks. It goes back and forth. It seems like oops, we get a lot of people on the nice talks. Your creativity is fire today. Kelsey's was amazing. Thank you for being generous. Amanda, thank you for the donation and thank you for that nice message. Literally, Kelsey's was sick. You know, you guys were ordering me shots like crazy. I felt like the boss, you know? I was like, everyone was around me doing it for Will. I was, um, Mr. 2K. Um, and yeah, it'd be nice to meet you, Kate, too. You know, I don't, we haven't met in person, no. Um, be nice to meet you too. Maybe go to England one day. I'd love to go to England to visit. Babe, I'm gonna fart. Come to Scotland. Scotland would be cool. Me and Gavin go to Scotland. Gavin's from Scotland. We got Adam doing push ups. I'm gonna show Adam doing some. Do it again, Adam. Do it again. Do that again. Ready? Out of boys. That's my boys. Let's go. Working out at the beach. We're having a good time today, though. Showing us the beach, having fun. It's so good being at. Oh my gosh, I just saw a seagull. Yo, yo. I just saw a seagull dive into the water, pick up a fish and get out. Like no. dive in, like nose first. No. I swear to God, bro. Yo, photographers get pictures that Unless that was just a bird, not a seagull. That's a sick setup, eh? I know, eh? Leo, what you just said? Yeah, let's meet up in New York for sure. People get um pictures of that? Yeah. It made so much money, bro. It took them five years to get a picture of a bird going down with a professional camera. Yeah. And grab a fish, but like when his beak is still pointing in the water, bro, he made wow. millions off that one picture. Really? Sick. That's a sick, that's sick. Oh, bro, it took him five years to get that picture finally oh. done. Five years. That's bro. a long time, bro. I think about it, he's sitting there for like six hours a day. Yeah. Oh. Photographers are nuts that way. Oh, it add, bro, it added up. I like to joke around um, a lot, as you guys know, but overall, I don't like lie. I'm not a liar. I do joke, but I just block some of that stuff out. But I try not to lie. I try not to lie. Maybe a little white lies here and there, but I don't lie about my life. Um, told everyone everything, you know. You guys know I don't have to explain. 
Um, how do you, what do you guys like better? The talks? Actually, it's hard to pick what you like better, you know? Peta, thank you for the PayPal. Say I'm coming to Niagara from Australia in two weeks. Oh, no way. That's awesome. Talks are good. Talks are good. Definitely, um, why are we in rehab? I'm gonna answer this one more time. Answer a lot. I don't mind answering it though. I saw a couple people wondering if I might answer. I don't mind answering it at all. Um, I do, um, <laughs> I went to rehab for marijuana. Not a huge deal. Most people in there were for like hardcore drugs, but I gained a lot of good relationships with those people. And I realized that um, people are people. Like those people in rehab are such good people. Like it's ridiculous. Like of course they made mistakes. I've made a lot of mistakes in my life. I. Uh, have secrets myself you know they have secrets and that it, it's life's a battle you know so i learned a lot though um that like everyone's equal people just go through a lot and when i hear like people's backstories in rehab like like you know some of them i'm not going to say ever names obviously but a lot of people in there like used to get beat up when they were kids and stuff and just bad 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 stuff that happened to them um or like raped and like really bad stuff so when I hear about that it's like I understand like why people like get into drugs and stuff it's like it's tough so that's why I never discriminate anyone because it's like you never know my my past wasn't really hard like I had a I got pretty lucky with my family but I'm definitely didn't have a perfect childhood I still went through my own stuff and I, uh, the biggest thing about me is I like to beat myself up about stuff. So I kind of am stopping beating myself up and stop trying to be perfect all the time because that's uh, nobody's perfect. So it's a blessing that nobody's perfect. You know, you just got to have fun in life and chill and um, just be you. And uh, yeah, be you. What was the best thing you learned about yourself? That I'm not perfect. That was probably the best thing I learned about myself because I thought I was trying to be like the best guy in the world. Like I was trying to be like, I don't even know what the best guy in the world means, but I guess it's my insecurities about like, you know, just insecurities. You know, you don't get the girl you want. You're like, oh, I gotta be the best. I gotta be the best. But there's no uh, best guy in the world. It's, um, nobody's perfect everyone has different tastes there's not one person in the world with seven billion followers and that's for a reason you know um so yeah i just that's the best thing i learned myself and then just not beating myself up too much like not punishing myself my buddy that works there uh rick he uh he got mad at me he's like He's like, man, I want to see you live life, man. He's like, I don't want to see you beating yourself up and punishing yourself all the time because I see you do that. And he said, he's like, you're a good guy. I am a good guy. You know, I'm a really, I try, try to be the best guy I can be like Craig. Um, of course, I have thoughts of, you know, that we're human. We have thoughts of negative thoughts, but, um, you know, I want to beat someone up or they want to you know, stuff like that, a little thoughts, stupid thoughts, but I get over it, you get over it pretty quick, and um, you just don't act, you don't act on things, and you w work to change yourself, and work on yourself, and that's what I learned, and I also learned that wherever you are, it's uh, no matter what, and that's why I do want to get a tattoo, um, I'm going to ask my modeling and you say, I kind of do want to get a tattoo no matter what. Because uh, it makes me think, like, no matter where I am in life, like, fame, rehab, wherever I end up in life, I just, it's no matter what, I want to be happy with myself and just, because if you're happy with yourself, it doesn't matter where you are. Like, look, I'm talking to my phone right now, I'm talking, and uh, I'm just right here. Well, actually, I'm on a beach. I'm actually living life, actually, Frig. What am I saying? But you guys know what I mean. <laughs> right down. 
Nicole, so happy you're doing well. Miss you tons. Thank you, Nicole, for the PayPal. And, and thank you so much. Do you have the urge to smoke? That's a good question. Um, I don't have the urge to smoke. Not at all. Um, I do have an urge to, like, have a couple beers, which isn't bad, but I want to watch myself with that because I can get bad. Um, but I don't have the urge to smoke. I don't because I'm feeling like better about myself. So it's like, don't really have the urge to smoke. I had a big regret journal in um, rehab. I went all the way back from when I was a kid to uh, high school to last year. And uh, it was me saying sorry to a lot of people that I haven't said sorry to face to face because haven't seen them or I don't want to just reach out but I will eventually but got a regret journal don't want to open that thing too much but keep that nice locked up and um, but it's what I'm trying to get at is it's good to write stuff down on paper write down stuff on paper you learn and then you learn it's not too bad the things that you've done in life you know it's not too bad it's uh and even if it is too bad um that's that's too bad you know it's just you got to move on you got to move forward um so that's pretty much it um i've lied in my life for sure i've tried to be someone i'm not but i'm just working every day to be a better person like you know I'm trying to be happy too there's some days i tell you i don't give a frick like i'm just like f it like you just you know, F everyone, I'm doing what I want to do, like, it's one of those days, but it's, that's okay, some days, just be you, do you, do what you gotta do, you know, live your life, have fun, treat people good, um, like, when you're personal with someone, make sure you're listening, you treat someone good, um, but live your life, don't, and also don't take life too serious, life's short, have fun, um, enjoy the little things. Um, what else? It's, yeah. That's it. Oh, I almost fell. I almost ate shit there. Teresa, thanks for the donation. And thank you, Rana, for the donation. Lori, thank you so much. Always here for your journey. Live your life. You're a good man. You're hot as fuck. <laughs> Thanks, Lori. Thank you, thank you. That's why you guys might see me be like a little crazy some days, but it's because I have a lot of energy and I'm just kind of like just giving her. Um, just being. Oh, little kitty. Little kitty. All right, enough with the heart to heart. Let's have some fun. I'm done. My heart hurts now. <laughs> Too much of the heart starts to hurt. Um, let's uh, let's have some fun. I don't really know what to do though. You guys want to go for a walk in the water? Let's go walk in the water. You guys want to go for a walk in the water? Thanks for the heart to heart. No problem. I like doing this. Helps me too, right? Because I'm talking, like, just kind of going off what is in my heart. Um, and that's good for me. It helps me as well. As much as it helps you guys too. Hopefully it helps you guys a lot. Uh, I'm not perfect though but I'm sure you can learn from me because you can learn from anyone. Doris, thank you for the PayPal and saying you bring so much joy. I love you always. Thank you so much, Doris. This water right here is disgusting, but it's actually like the cleanest water in Canada. But right here, it's just so muddy. But if we go out a bit, it's pretty clear and it's nice. I'll show you the water. It's beautiful. We're on the water, on the water. It's nice water though. Don't drop us, you're right, don't drop us. 
Any turtles? No, I hope not. Don't even tell me that. If there's turtles, don't even tell me that. Because <laughs> I do not want to snap or bite me. Lauren, thank you for the PayPal. And saying, you are wise beyond your years. I couldn't love you more for your honesty and your open with us. Oh, thank you so much. I'm definitely going to start reading the positive more. Um, I was last year like addicted to reading the negative. Addicted to a lot of things. Porn. Addicted to... Like, I'd watch porn, like, five times a day. I'm not even going to lie. I'd be watching porn, doing my, um, smoking my weed, going live. I'd make the money, have fun, and I'd feel like shit about it, you know? How, who feels like shit at, at 22 to make $5,000 a day? Like, that's not something to feel like shit about. You should be happy, especially when you're changing people's lives. But I was addicted to, like, reading the negative and stuff, so, um... It got bad, so I was like done with that. And uh, my dad told me the other day, or today actually, he said, "Buddy, you probably got a hundred thousand mail letters saying how much you changed people's lives, and I want you to sit down and just read them, like read the positive." So I'm gonna start doing that, and that's the hard part, like talking, like you know, you start like getting emotional and stuff, and you don't even want to hear it sometimes, like the positive. But um, you got to. Uh, you gotta read the positive because it just makes life better. You know, why not? Why wouldn't you wanna read positive? Positive is a positive. Positive is good. Negative um, doesn't make you feel good. You know, it goes feelings, then your thoughts, then your actions, you know, all lined up. So it first starts off how you feel. So you wanna feel good. Wanna feel good? Oh, I feel good right now. Okay, think about a nice thought. This water is beautiful right now. Now I just said something so nice, you know? You get a habit of that, you're freaking, you're buzzing, you feel good. Oh, now I feel good right now, you know? I'm looking around, beautiful people around me, everyone. So, it's nice. You definitely changed my life for the better. Mary, thank you. Thank you for telling me that. Um, sometimes I don't know what I even did. Like, I just kind of, I guess, be honest, like, that's why I don't get when people call me a liar. I'm like, how am I a liar? Like, what am I lying about? Because I don't tell, like, everything. Like, it's kind of hard to tell everything. Like, I don't want to tell you something I shouldn't say on social media or something. But overall, I try to show you guys that I'm talking from my heart. Talking, like, maybe I'm shaky. Maybe that's why I kind of sound like a liar. I have no idea. But it doesn't matter. And, um, but thank you. Thank you for saying that. We got 2,000 people in here. What's up? What's up? No matter what. No matter what. That's it. Pandemic was rough. I drank myself to near death. Been sober for six months. Let's go. Amy. I think your name is Amy. Amy. Let me check. Was it Amy? Um, I'm proud to hear that. Keep up. Keep it up. Being sober, I think drinking is a hard thing to do too because everyone drinks when you're at parties and stuff. Like they're drinking right now and I can't drink and I'm like, I want to drink. You know, like let's get home <laughs> so I can drink. But um, it's true to like not, um, I mean, it's so good for you that you're doing that. And you can, it's true that you can have fun without drinking. Like I'm having a great time right now talking to you guys and I'm not, there's not one sip of alcohol in my blood. Um, so, pretty blessed, pretty blessed. Um, but honestly, that's a good question. I, 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 I just keep thinking about this, but it's not negative right now. So I'm going to switch it. When someone said, why do you lie? That's a good question because some of the days I do lie. Um, I think it's because I notice that other people lie. So I'll, I'll maybe lie sometimes about stuff because I'm like insecure. But try not to lie, guys. And because you're lying to yourselves, you know? That's what I'm realizing right now on the top of my head. You're lying to yourselves. So it's like, it's like, you, sometimes you don't even know. You think you're someone, but just, yeah, it's hard. Just keep talking from the heart. Talk from the heart. It's hard, but it takes time. It takes time. Um, 
but yeah, like you see someone and just say for an example, like you look at them and they look down right away. So then you look away right away because you're like, oh, that person doesn't like, uh, doesn't want to look at me or something. And then you're kind of like, then you just start doing things like you start lying. Like you start like looking the other way to make someone like you or something. I don't know. It's like little lies. Oh, there's a helicopter. Ready? I don't know if it's on camera right now, guys, because the sun is freaking right in my eyes. You guys can see that. But I tried. That sucker was loud. Holy crap, that sucker was loud. Thank you for the gifts, guys. We are, oh, frig, we're top six. I knew that, but I looked over and I have 100,000 diamonds. 140,000 diamonds. It's a lot of diamonds. Thank you, thank you. Where are you? Right now I'm in Wasaga Beach. I'm in Wasaga Beach. I'd actually, before rehab, I never went to Wasaga Beach. And um, it's good to be at Wasaga Beach right now. Really good to be at Wasaga Beach right now. Um, it's a nice beach. At nighttime, it's lit here too there's like parties there's like jamaican music going on and i was like oh my gosh like this is sick um is there a song that helped you in rehab you know what we would every week we would do song night and um we pick a song and there's been a couple songs that people would pick that would really speak to me it would get emotional you know like people have made there's been a lot of people that made mistakes in their life that they can't get back. And it's really sad, like even hurting someone, you know, doing things like, I pretty much have empathy for everyone. Um, and it sucks, cause it's like, why, why would you make that mistake, you know? But it's just like, they're going, they're, they're hurt, man. You know, and people are hurt and it's sad. And I don't want to see that. So when I see people crying and rehab and stuff, I'd get really emotional and I'd feel it. But um, I just want to tell anyone, like, I don't care if you're going to jail, anything. You can still have a good life, you know? There's still good people. There's still good people in jail. They just messed up. They did something stupid. You know, my dad went to jail. Um, and my dad's, like, the best guy ever. My dad fell asleep on the wheel and killed four of his best friends. He fell off a bridge. And he has to live with that for the rest of his life, PTSD to the max. But I still love my dad and I feel bad for him. I feel bad for the families that it happened to. It's a whole bad situation, but it's like, I don't know. And that's why you just gotta be thankful. But there's something better, right? After life, guys, I know life's hard and stuff, but there's something better. After life, there's something better. So just enjoy life. And when we die, I swear, if there's a God or not, there's there's something better after this our souls are something because this is not this is not this is not this beautiful for no reason you know what i mean like we're not all connected for no reason <clears throat> amen There is a God, I know, no, I, I do believe in God, I just, I think there's so much religion, I, and I, so, like, some people believe, like, different gods, so I'm like, I don't understand, like, which one is the real God, you know, because I trust other people, like, I trust um, other cultures have their God, so I don't really know, maybe we all have our own God, or maybe there's one God, I don't even know how it works, but I just know, like, I, I believe in something, like, spiritual. I'm, I'm very spiritual. Things line up weird. Things happen weird. Um, it's all it's all pretty cool. So just believe, guys. Believe, like, just believe that good things are going to happen. It might be hard, but believe. And if you have to cry, cry, believe, whatever. Um, I'm being very from the heart right now, and I think it's because I'm near my rehab center at my old rehab center. Um, so, I don't know, but I think God's with me right now. It weird as it sounds, I feel like God's with me. This is where I got reborn. I don't wanna do this, but I don't know, a lot of people might not believe that, and it kinda sounds weird, but I got reborn. Um, a beautiful lady here, Kathy, 
um, Catherine. She used to bring me to church twice a week in rehab, and um, I would cry in church. I would I would get pissed in church sometimes. I would say, why are they talking to me? You know what? I made mistakes in my life. Like, I'm not the devil. I'm not this. I'm not that. I would get upset, right? And, um, but it's just, that's, that's life. You know, you got it. There's ups and downs, and but you got to follow. You got to follow God because then you believe and then you feel like great. And then you realize when you're looking at everyone that everyone has a life and everyone's beautiful and it, all, all the above. So, it's um it's great and um she would bring me to church but yeah i got like reborn she touched my she told my hands and closed my eyes and said a bunch of gibberish and um said god please be with will and i was like and i was just so grateful i i, I opened my eyes and i swear like the lights like the water and the, and the sky and the, the grass and the trees everything was just brighter it was crazy so um i don't know if it's because i closed my eyes for a long time but no it was it was god and when i went inside everyone was looking at me like i was like god like it was they were they were inspired by me so i was like it was so cool and i started looking at pictures i, I was looking at things i didn't see before you know so it was like i was like wow i actually just got reborn and I felt amazing. And there's so much good. So much good. So enjoy the good. Enjoy the good, guys. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. If you get used to it, you will enjoy your freaking life to the max. No matter where you are. You could be on your freaking deathbed. But you know that you're going somewhere great. And I'm being serious. I, I, I try to believe that as much as I can. So believe it with me because it's a thing. Where's your iconic necklace? It broke. I was so sad. But we're gonna get a new one. I need a cross. You've made almost 10K today, have I? I've been going live all day and we've been making, well, I've been making a lot of money. I wanna thank you guys so much for that. Sometimes I feel like, why am I making all this money? But no, I want to know that I deserve it um, because you don't want to feel like you don't deserve it, right? Um, but I can't thank you guys enough for supporting me. I don't know your guys' financial situations, so but I just want you guys to know you don't have to send any money. Um, I'm a creator, though. It's good to get off, but you guys don't have to do anything. Again, I, I just love what I'm doing. I could be working construction and still be happy, so I don't have to be this rich guy, but it would be nice to have a Lamborghini and drive uh, really fast in Germany, you know, on that highway with no rules, but um, <laughs> it'd be great. Even just talking like this, I see a lot of people are looking at me and coming like towards me, and it's not because I'm sexy. It's because they feel something. I've been sexy my whole life, so it's like, and there's been people pushed away from me. So I've seen it all. And um, that's how I know it's not, it's not about looks at all. It's about the person you are. I swear to God, I'm not joking about that. You can have, my sister has a skin disease, Vitaligo, and she's the most beautiful girl in the world. Like, one of them, for sure. And it's her heart. It's who she is. She's going through it, though. She's a kid. You know, I realized that she has a little bit of an attitude now. But when she was when she was born, she was freaking, and she'll get over that. She's gonna do something great, my sister. I know it. Okay, we got two point one in here. You guys want to see the view? So right now we're standing in the water in Wasaga Beach, right near the rehab I just got out of. Um, for new joiners, I went to rehab for a month for marijuana, porn, alcohol, sex, everything. Not a really alcohol, but it was getting there. And it pro it's just addiction in general. Addiction's addiction. That's what I learned. It doesn't matter what you did. If you've done something that's crazy, like, you know, it's unfortunate, but you still get better, of course. It's I've lit in some people's souls, I think, in that place. I'm not joking. And I believe that. Um, the owner, Kev, such a good guy, he talked to me and he said, 
I was nervous to bring you and your cousin in here. I don't bring your cousin, like cousins or even friends in here. Um, but he said, I want to say it was like great having you, like amazing having you. And I was like, thank you, man. Like it was great. Thank you for doing this to me. Like you changed my life, you know, like I was, I went through a lot in rehab. I wanted to quit like five times. I wanted to run out. I've had fits. I've yelled at people. I've said, you don't know my life. Like, um, stay out of my shit. I've said stuff like that. <clears throat> and I was like, I've heard a lot of people from saying stuff like that. And it's like, that's when I realized like, stop, bro. That, that was the word for me, stop. When, when I used to get all crazy or anxious, they would look at me and say, stop. Right when they just say stop from the heart, I would just stop. Because it's like, enough. Um, but yeah, so just so you know, we all have flaws, okay? I'm talking all perfect right now because I'm uh, not perfect, but from the heart, and it seems like I'm a really good guy, but no, we all got flaws and we all got, but um, that's what makes us perfect, you know? We're human beings, guys. Like, frick. Be a freaking human be human being. Be, be like, just be, yeah, your flaws make you unique. Exactly. Someone just said that to me. You're imperfectly um, perfect, and I'm like, yeah, so just have fun, and everyone loves you, eh, guys? I'm telling you, no matter no matter who you are, deep down, we all love you. And if you made a mistake, we're sad for your mistakes, of course, but um, we all, for, everyone loves you. Everyone loves you. I'm telling you. You can't not love a human being. You can't. Because they're you. We're all the same, fuck. We're all God's creation. Dead serious. I sound like a priest right now, and I'm not, I don't know how I feel about it, but <laughs> um, I'm serious. Oh, I gotta stretch. <laughs> These girls are going right in the mud. I'll show you. Actually, I don't want to put them on camera. My heart has never been more touched than listening to you right now. Candy, thank you for that and the donation. Thank you so freaking much. Thank you, Candy. Um, also, the chats are going fast, but I am reading the chats. I am. Life is tough, bro. Life is tough, bro. It is tough. Life is tough, bro. But that's what makes it sick. You know, how strong can you get? How, how, who are you? Who are you? You're special, that's for sure. Everyone is in their own way. Some people just don't untap it. I untapped it, I tried. That's why I'm here right now. I untapped it because I went really hard. I went really hard and not just, it's, it's deep, it's deep stuff. You know, you gotta tap in your heart. And, um, but it's just, I'm not done. This is just, the, I'm not done at all. I have a whole life ahead of me and I have a lot of pressure every day. Life is freaking tough. I, even though I, like, I, I seem like I got a good smile and I'm making a lot of money and all this stuff, I still get off this live and I'm thinking, 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 thinking. But I'm gonna stop doing that. Start enjoying. Because that's one thing that God does say. Um, Catherine told me this, is it's actually like a sin to kind of think all the time. Like, you got to kind of let life just go by the breeze. Let yourself make mistakes. Your life is a timeline. That's what the bank girl told me today. She said, because I told her, I'm like, are you scared of anything? And she said, mm, no, I'm not really scared of anything. And I said, are you scared of death? And I, she said, no, because your life's a timeline. And you have a timeline. And when you die, you go somewhere greater. And the bank lady told me that. And I was like, Yo, that made me feel so much better. I was like, yeah, you're so right. Like, there's literally nothing to worry about, no matter what. If whatever you're going to do, even if it's scary, enjoy it. Enjoy the uncertainty. Being uncertain is great. Right? Am I right or wrong? Being uncertain is good. You want to be uncertain. It's fun. It's courageous. Did rehab say anything that we fans should do different to help? No. 
They said nothing about you guys. All my rehab said about you is that your fans are so supportive. Um, and like, it's crazy. Like people are like, they're, they're, they're it's like, it's something that's kind of like never happened. Like it's, it's not obviously anything near like Drake, Justin Bieber or those guys. Like they, they, they have like, that's craziness, you know, like they got millions and millions of fans, but it's just, it's just, it's still, it's something else. It's something that like kind of never happened. I don't even know. Um, but I got really supportive fans and they're always here with me and it's like, it's really cool. It's really cool. And if you're a fan that's left because I've said something or something pissed you off and you came back, thank you for coming back. Thank you for being here for me. And I'm sorry for that, but you know, I'm growing up and you got to kind of realize that I am not perfect. You know, I try, I try my best every day, but I'm going to stop trying because to be perfect because it's it's unreasonable. That's what my therapist Craig says. He says it's unreasonable. Don't try to be perfect. Because he said it, it's so fun tr not being perfect. And I think that's why I used to like throw rocks at cars. That was one of my things in my regret turn. I was like a, I was a little, I would tell my mom, I'd say, mom, I'm going for a run today. And she'd say, you're such a good kid. And I'd say, thanks mom. And I'd call my buddy Ivan and I'd say, let's go. And we'd grab a bunch of rocks and we'd make sure we didn't hit the window because we didn't want to hurt anyone, but we'd skip it on the road. Boom, hit the car. The car would stop, get out of the car and chase us and I'd run. And I wondered for, actually, I didn't really, I just thought whatever, I was whatever, but it still haunts me to this day because I, one, I could have hurt someone. Two, it's not a nice thing, you're damaging stuff. And three, it was just, yeah, but I would just do stuff like that. I would, I was trying to like, when I look deep into it, I don't know really why I was doing it, but when I look really deep, I was trying to run away from things and I was also trying to be not perfect. You know, my mom always wanted me to be like perfect kid and like perfect grades, perfect this. And I always wanted that. So it, it was, um, so I would throw rocks at cars to not be perfect. I'd pretend I was a gangster doing it. I was, I would pretend I was a gangster and I'd have this fake gangster guy in my head and I'd throw the rock and I'd pretend it's like other gangsters chasing me and I'd jump the fences and stuff and I'd be like, okay, like, yeah. So I'd always like do stuff like that, but I ended up getting a cop by the cops one night. They arrested me and Ivan and they brought us to um, the house and they said, did you guys throw the rocks? And I said, no. So I lied. I was scared and they said are you sure you didn't throw the rocks because you guys were on top of that house throwing rocks we saw you and who else did it and I said no I was playing manhunt I was playing manhunt and uh, my mom said are you kidding me my son would never throw rocks he plays triple a hockey he's 12 years old why would he ever do that I would say And uh, yeah, they said they checked the cameras and I never got caught. So it's a, definitely a big regret of mine throwing rocks. Were the rocks big? They were just little, little pub, probably like that big. And I'd skip them and I'd hit the paint and I would talk to Ivan and we'd be like, yo, like, you know how much like damage we probably did, bro? Like, that's crazy, bro. Like, holy, bro. But deep down, we're shit in our pants. I'm like, but yeah, even talking about it, don't even like talking about it because it's not something I'm proud of at all. It actually haunts me. I still talk, I cried about it in rehab probably every day. Um, and I was 12 and that's why they say, stop beating yourself up. You didn't hurt anyone, you know? Maybe damaged a little bit of cars, but um, exactly. They, they would say all kids do that stuff. And I would just be like, but I still feel like, you know, I don't want that on myself, but I'm not gonna put that on myself anymore. I was a kid, I was 12. Also used to throw those little milk cartons, throw them, splash. And, and kids do not do this, I'm not giving you ideas. Please don't do this because um, you might have fun right now doing it, but um, I'm telling you, you'll regret it in the future. 
And even if you don't regret it, deep, 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 deep down, you feel bad about it. So don't do it. Don't throw rocks. Don't throw rocks at cars. Don't throw eggs either. Eggs are bad still. Um, you could play Nikki Nine Doors. I think Nikki Nine Doors is fine. Go knock on a door and run. It's, it gets, it gets, the, uh, gets people off the couch, you know? gets people off the couch and it gets people running after you it's kind of funny but the only problem with that is if you do live in the states you might get sh like shot or something so maybe don't play nikki nine doors don't listen to will don't play nikki nine doors thank you Lori, for the paypal and saying love you miss you this is so much more special than bieber oh thank you no it's everything special in their own ways like bieber bieber's thing was so special everything is awesome Thank you, Stacy. Yeah, don't do it in Texas. Do not be playing Nicky Nine Doors, kids, all right? Don't listen to me. Do not be doing any of that stuff. Stay stay safe and uh, don't be doing that stuff, all right? I was, I was a brat. I was a brat kid. I would friggin, I thought I owned the world. I was like, yeah, I'm a rebel. Nothing can happen to me, nothing. <laughs> And then uh, you realize quick, I'm in the back of a cop car getting in trouble or um, or I'm going to rehab and crying about it every day. So it's it's serious stuff. So I know you guys want to have fun, but just wait till you uh, get some good grades, play some hockey, some road hockey and uh, wait till you're like 22. Have some fun. Party. Meet some girls. Have some fun. Join TikTok. It'll probably be a new thing. Forgiveness, though. Yes, you have to forgive yourself. My brother was worse. Brother's way worse. Well, he was. Friggin'. I'm not even gonna... I'll let him tell his own stories. But he used to... I'll tell you one, I used to go to people's doors and do stuff like friggin' fight and stuff all the time, but I would never do that stuff. Like, but but he's we're, we're, he's a good guy. We got our problems, you know? We all got our issues, guys. No one's perfect. Okay, okay I wanna get like a little hype though. I'm kinda feeling like I'm talking like gibberish now. Like we're just kinda going off topic. So can we just like chill out for a bit? What's good? It's called this cheesiest, yes. Okay, maybe a lightning question. Oh, guys, we have no music, eh? We do, it's over here. I know, but I don't want to be around a couple drunks. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, Alex, you should give me your phone to play some music. Thanks, bro. Are you at a lake? Yeah, I'll show you. It's a beach. Look how beautiful that is. Do you guys want to stay here for another 30 minutes? Sounds good. Don't. You got big love and stuff. I know the seagulls are loud. Yo, get the shotgun. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Seagull, shut up. My turn. Don't go on your phone. Don't go on my photos. Your photos. Okay, I will not go on your photos, bro. Thank you, William. <laughs> Don't go on your you photos. No, I'm kidding. Privacy, respect. Is anyone on? Don't want to. Don't want to. 
This person has 500 people.